The HY component at TFSF minus 1 also has an inconsistency. If we write the HY update equation, we have HY is equal to DA times HY plus DB times EZ I plus 1 minus EZ at I. And in this update equation, all the fields are scattered fields except for this one. This is a total field. This total field, we can relate it to the scattered fields using the equation we wrote up earlier, incident plus scattered, which means that we can convert this total field into a scattered field by subtracting the incident wave. This means we need to subtract the incident electric field at this location. So this means the correction for HY after we have the regular updating loop all across the grid, we can then go back and correct the HY at TFSF minus 1, which is right at the interface, and right next to it. We'll take the value that we just got from the update, and we're going to subtract dB times EZ ints at the same location, well, that's at I plus 1, so it'll be at TFSF. Now, you can go through the same process for the right side of the grid, where the other interface is between the total and scattered field regions. Be careful that you call on the correct I indices for the incident fields in your special updates at the interfaces, and that the incident fields have the correct signs in your correction equations. For convenience, let's put the interface on the right side of the grid at the same distance from the end of the grid as it was on the left side, which means that if this is i equals i max, then if this is going to be the same distance from the edge of the grid, this should be i equals equal to i max minus tfsf plus 1. And then one of these HY components is also going to have to have a correction, the one that has an inconsistency. Lastly, we need to figure out how to obtain the incident field values at the interfaces of the total and scattered field regions and over all time steps so that we can implement these corrections. These are for the left side of the grid. Well, we could analytically solve for the incident field values since the incident wave is just a simple plane wave, but it turns out that it's more computationally efficient and more accurate in an FDTD model, especially in two and three dimensions, if we obtain the incident field values from a secondary one-dimensional FDTD grid, which we can call an incident grid. So we'll have an incident one-dimensional FDTD grid. This is completely separate from the FDTD grid that you already have implemented in your model. The incident grid will have a source at i equal 1 on this com easy component. This is in the x direction. And it will simply solve for plane wave propagation through free space. So we're going to have alternating easy and hy's again, and so forth. If we sample the HY component of this incident grid at TF, TFSF minus 1, then we can sample that here and we can use it in the first correction term. And if we sample the EZ component at TFSF, then we can use that here and we can complete the second update correction. The important thing to know is that the 1D incident grid and the 1D primary grid must be time-stepped in sync with each other, meaning the electric fields of the primary grid and the incident grid must be solved at the same integer time steps, and the magnetic fields of the primary grid and the incident grid must be solved at the same half integer time step. Take a moment and write an outline 
of what you think the time stepping loop should look like. In your 1D total field scatter field code that includes a one dimensional incident grid, here's a summary of the changes that need to be made. First, we have to account for the special total field scatter field up corrections at the interfaces of the total and scatter field regions. So we're going to have corrections at the interfaces. And second, we need to time step create and time step. So this won't be in the time stepping loop, but we'll have to time step in sync the incident grid with the primary grid. What we're calling the primary grid is the grid that you already have that's with your model right now and it has any object it will it will have any object in it that you're interested in modeling 